The LNP is promising to roll out new uh, arsenal to go after Gold Coast hoons if it wins government. But drivers in their sites are demanding taxpayers foot the bill for facilities where they can burn rubber. Ripping up residential roads. Sending it sideways on suburban streets. And hanging out the window at high speed on the M1. For families living in Hoon hotspots, it's driving them insane. They intimidate people. It's absolutely shocking, and to think that these guys are so brazen that they're filming themselves and putting it online. Now, the LNP is promising to throw the book at dangerous drivers. This morning on Narang Mwilimba Road, pledging 100 covert CCTV cameras, tyre shredding bitumen for problem areas, and giving police the power to rip up the licences of repeat offenders. They will actually end up losing their licence for three years, and the second time they're caught, five years. The Gold Coast self-proclaimed Mexican hoon cartel is public enemy number one. But they say no matter how hard authorities try, they won't stop them. The notorious gang refusing to speak on camera, but recording and sending us this ultimatum. The only thing that will stop us and other drivers from conducting hooning behaviour on public roads is to create dedicated facilities for us to use. The government says it's already considering tougher laws to target homes. Mackenzie Collahan, 9 Gold Coast News. They call themselves the Mexican Hoon Cartel, parading their fast cars and showing off their dangerous antics on social media. These guys are so brazen that they're filming themselves and putting it online, which just encourages more idiocy. Streets in the hinterland suburbs are often their target. This intersection on Beachmont Road, a regular spot for burnouts. On Pine Creek Road out in the Numbabar Valley, where hoons congregate in masses, up to 50 at a time. But locals say the antisocial behaviour is getting out of control. They intimidate people. If people slow down or sort of make themselves a target, they'll follow them, they'll tailgate them, they'll give them a hard time. The hoons say they're forced onto the roads due to a lack of affordable drift and burnout facilities on the coast. They suggest skid pads could be a solution. The LNP isn't convinced. I'd prefer to see these hoons prevented, not enabled. Instead, she's pledged a crackdown if elected, including 100 covert CCTV cameras in hotspots with live feeds to police tougher anti-hooning gang laws and road surfacing technology to disable cars. It effectively shreds their tyres. To put the brakes on gangs endangering lives. We're very lucky to date that nobody has been 